Hey everybody, uh, earlier I sent out a picture message to a few people talking about a uh, beer that I happened across. And uh, of all places at Whole Foods, um, never thought I'd see the inside of one of those places, but today as luck would have it, I was inside Whole Foods. Got some pretty interesting stuff in there. Um, not made for people like me, but who knows. Maybe if I dug a little deeper, I'd find other stuff. But they did have something in there. They had beer. And they had this right here. And man, did I get this bottle frozen. It's frosty. It's Shiner Strawberry Blonde. According to this, uh, it's, the Small Batch Brew is the seventh beer in our Brewer's Pride Craft Brew Series. I love the Brewer's Pride Series from Shiner. It's very good. Strawberry Blonde is brewed with perfectly ripe, juicy strawberries from the strawberry capital of Texas. Say it with me now. Poteet! Where a lot of you go to get good and wasted and lose your way home. Uh, a mix of pale and wheat malts provide a crisp finish to bring you a truly refreshing brew. And with that, we encourage you to harvest this beautiful blonde today. Prose it! Uh, this is the pint size, so the size of that bottle. I wish they sold these in six packs, or four packs would be cool. But I'm a fan of the prickly pear beer that they put out. I say, hey, let's give it a shot, right? I hope this doesn't turn to slush when I open it. I really, I, when I got it, it was warm, and I wanted it to be nice and cold when I opened it, and I may have made it too nice and too cold. So. Oh yeah, there's a little little hint of strawberry jam in there. Ooh, look at that beautiful color. It's thick. Yeah, it's right on the verge of turning the slush. <laughs> so that's gonna be a mighty tasty, mighty cold little glass of beer there. Uh, it's it's your average kind of a lager looking beer, but. Yeah, you can take, you can smell definitely smell the hint of strawberry there. Oh, I got that freaking cold, dude. God damn, about five degrees colder would have been a slushy. But it is, it is really good. Semi sweet. Definite beer taste. You're not gonna you're not gonna get away from that, and why would you, right? But it is damn tasty. I hope they have it around for a while. But like prickly pear, it's supposed to be gone. It's supposed to be a summer brew, so I don't know how long they're gonna have this one around. I'm surprised they didn't have it for Strawberry Fest, right? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Strawberry Festival, strawberry beer. If they did, I didn't hear about it news to me but that is that is a very enjoyable glass of beer shiner you've done it again damn it ah I really got that cold that gave me brain freeze shit Ooh. damn it I like it cold I, mean, I don't like I don't like Sticking around with semi-warm beer, piss-warm brew, but sometimes I know I know people out there like it real slushy. Like it it plops into the glass. So. Nah, this is this is definitely cold. This is how beer should be served, I guess. You know, I just got this new little gadget here, laser thermometer. See, 24 degrees. That should be frozen, man. But hey, I'll take it. So, yeah, you haven't tried it yet. Definitely get out there and get some. 
It is delicious. Absolutely delicious. If you're a fan of the prickly pear, you're going to love this. If you're not a fan of sweet beers, if you like yours to taste rough, and if you're one of those Bud Light fans who are just like, we make beer, don't be fussed over. If you're one of those types, ah, you probably won't like it so much. But anyone who's a fan of Shiner and likes a little variety in their flavors, definitely go out and try it. I still got a whole half of this to go. And I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it. Thanks for watching, everyone.